What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We're back with the chicken compost system. It's time to take all the compost that the chickens have spread apart for us, throw it up against the walls. We also need to do a little bit of work inside the coop. We've been turning over a lot of beds lately, so it's got a lot of nitrogen, a lot of green material in the coop, and it doesn't have much carbon. We're gonna add some carbon to it. Can you see it? Let me go get it, hold on. I'm sure you guys know what these are. I picked them up at, uh, you know, the farmer's Walmart, old TSC, but it's a bag of shavings. This is a great carbon material, and since the chickens are producing new nitrogen all night long as they're pooping, I'm throwing nitrogen in there with the old broccolis and the old cabbages and the old collars and all the stuff we're turning over the beds from. I'm putting in there just too much nitrogen. It's going to get stinky really quick, soupy, nasty really quick. So this carbon, these wood flakes, wood shavings, are going to help soak up all the nastiness that's going to go on because of all the nitrogen. When you get a chicken coop that's stinky and nasty, it's because there's too much nitrogen in it. How you can fix that is add carbon to it, just like a, a compost pile that's out of whack. If it's got too much nitrogen and anaerobic and stinky and too wet, there's things you can fix. You can fix that. If it's too wet, break it apart. If it's not wet enough, add some water to it. If it's too much nitrogen, add some carbon to it. That's just what we're doing here. At the beginning of our chicken compost system, we want to go ahead and make it right. So with the food scraps and everything, we are gonna add some shavings. Yeah, I did buy this. If you guys want a free option, get you some old newspapers, old papers. Find an office that shreds their papers and just throws them away. Get a bunch of shredded paper, it'd be the same. It'd work just as well and it's free. But if you don't wanna go through all that work and you just wanna spend a few bucks on some carbon, this is a great way to do it. Let's get in there and do some work before we do some scooping out here. Also, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around while we're in here, just to show you. Now, when I have been adding the broccoli stalks and collard stalks and things like that, I leave the chickens in there till at least lunchtime. I don't let them out immediately in the morning. Chicken fight. So they can eat it. You know, if, they, if I don't leave them in there, they tend to wander acre after acre just looking for what they wanna look for. But since I want them to concentrate on the food that was in here, I leave them in here most of the morning and let them out in the afternoon and let them run around. So you can see a lot of stocks left over. They've eaten. <laughs> well, we disturbed her. Sorry, girl, didn't mean to disturb you. She was down there laying some eggs. That's another thing we need to do is collect all these eggs and then freshen up their boxes. Well, I'm gonna try to talk over her even though she's being loud. So as you can tell, all along the edges here, they pretty much picked off the leaves that were on the plants. So now all that's left is stock. And as I come in here, I can smell it. It's not a pleasant smell. So when you get a, a smell like that coming out of your chicken coop, it's probably because there's not enough carbon. This girl back here using her dust bath as a laying box. But we also need to fresh up their egg boxes. They got egg boxes down there. Egg boxes over here. This girl's laying in one here. Some of the chickens do like to sleep in their egg boxes at night. So there's going to be poo in there. So we need to clean those out every once in a while. Show you what it looks like. Real simple, just a couple inches of wood shavings on the floor. Some in the baskets in their egg boxes to freshen it up. Not a bad chore in the chicken coop at all. 
Now I can't eat, all I smell is wood chips. It's already starting to uh, cancel out that nitrogen stink. Let's back it on out. Look, we got a crew here. I think they know what I'm about to do. I'm like, oh, we're gonna get us some worms. All right, so set you up. Okay, so we just cleaned out this area all around the piles. It was about three to four inches thick, and it made a three-foot pile, just like we had in this corner. Same with the other side. Another three-foot pile. All cleaned up around it. Look, they're already putting work back in. Scratching and eating. That's what they do. Scratch, eat, and poop. That's what a chicken does. And when you figure out how to hone their skills which is scratching eating and pooping you can get them to work for you see if i didn't have chickens here that pile would just sit there exactly the way it is and then I, excuse me fellas and then i would have to dismantle that pile and then re-put it back together but the chickens are going to go ahead and dismantle this pile for me in the process getting something to eat and getting some great exercise so if you enjoyed that, make sure you click on this video right here. It's going to take you to the beginning of this process and show you how I did it. Later, guys.